The last time the Lakers saw the Jazz, their defense was broken down by one simple technique, and that's the use of the ghost screen by the Jazz. This year's Jazz team is constantly cutting and they shoot the ball very efficiently, and that's a dangerous combination. The ghost or veer screen is basically a fake screen. When a player appears to be setting a screen, but instead of planting and waiting for the contact, he dives or pops into the available space. When a defense starts guessing and anticipating an actual screen, this motion is highly effective, as is the case right here. If you look closely, LeBron anticipates that Lori Markinen is going to set the screen on AD. When Markinen fakes the screen and cuts to the basket, LeBron is now out of position. And this is exactly what the Jazz want, with their best passer Mike Conley delivering a strike. And that's an easy dunk. With this next one, the Jazz get pretty clever and they disguise this very well. Notice the hand gesture from Jared Vanderbilt, calling for Mike Conley to use a screen that he's going to set. This one can be characterized as a slip screen. As Vanderbilt goes into his motion, he plants and then slips out into space. And notice the confusion that this creates within the defense. Lonnie Walker and Troy Brown Jr. goes with Vanderbilt, leaving Mike Conley alone at the three-point line. Communication on these types of screens is paramount because with the shooters they have on the weak side, it's tough for LeBron or Patrick Beverly to help too far off Clarkson and Markinen, who can knock down a three with relative ease. Now we go to a transition play. Conley's running the show. As Markinen crosses half court, AD's body language is already saying that he's ready to defend a Markinen screen for Conley. And there it is again. It's a ghost screen by Markinen, AD's out of position, and that's an easy dunk. The defender guarding the ball and the defender guarding the screener has to be in constant communication on what they want to do on these types of plays. And this starts before the game in the film room. The weak side defenders like LeBron and Lonnie Walker in this case also have to be ready to move because going back to this play, if LeBron comes down to help on Markinen, Lonnie Walker can zone up on the two weak side shooters. I'm sure Darvin Ham and his staff will have a game plan to combat these ghost screens, and I think the defensive effort will be totally different in this next one.